Evander Holyfield defeats Mike Tyson. This day in boxing history, June 28th, 1997. Hello, fight fans. This is Coach Nathan of NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And first off, if you enjoy this video, please click the like and notification and to share and subscribe to NSChamp7.com. Well, I'm back at you again, folks, with a look back at probably the most bizarre ending in heavyweight championship boxing history. And that's when WBA champ Evander the Real Deal Holyfield, who came into this match with a record of 33 wins, three defeats, with 24 knockouts, and he made a cool $35 million for this match. Well, he defended his title from the man he took it from less than a year earlier. And that's Iron Mike Tyson, whose record was 45 wins, two defeats, with 39 by way of knockout. And he made an estimated $30 million for this match. Now at the time, this fight was billed as the sound and the fury, but is now known infamously as the bite fight. And once again, this was on June 28, 1997. Now coming into this event, there were several controversies surrounding the fighters in their camps stemming from the first match in which Holyfield was the prohibitive underdog not only because of his losses to Michael Moore and Riddick Bowe but he was diagnosed as having a heart problem which made boxing pundits at that time question should he even be allowed to fight the result Evander with an upset victory in an exciting 11th round TKO. Now this led to a controversy from Tyson's camp for the upcoming rematch who claimed that referee Mitch Halpern allowed Hollyfield to use illegal headbutts through the first match. Now despite this, the Nevada Commission still assigned Halpern to be the referee in the rematch, but he stepped down not wanting to cause more controversy which allowed experienced referee Mills Lane in as a replacement. Now in this, the second fight, Evander dominated all three rounds. In round two, Tyson was cut by what Lane ruled was an accidental headbutt. Now at the start of the third, Tyson was forced by the ref to put in his mouthpiece, which kind of gave you an idea of what was to come. And he was still enraged from the cut from the second round. And sure enough, in a clinch, he bit off in an inch of Hollyfield's ear and spit it on the ring apron. This caused Evander to leap into the air in pain, all to the shock and surprise to a stunned ringside audience and the millions watching on Showtime pay-per-view, as well as the referee, who stopped the fight and then notified the ringside physician, who at that time was Dr. Flip Hamansky, and the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman, Mark Ratner, which after examining Holyfield and a two-point deduction, allowed the fight to continue, leading to another clinch and another bite. And the Iron Mike meltdown was complete. A bizarre disqualification loss for the former baddest man on the planet. Now, I always admired both of these guys as boxers, but I remember while watching this in real time, the anger that arose, especially after the second bite. And I'm sitting there wondering how I would respond if someone bit my ear off in a boxing match. And then thinking about all the dirty tactics, particularly the bone breaking moves I'd use on my opponent for my seven years in judo. Later Evander addressed this somewhat when a reporter asked him why he didn't retaliate. And he stated it would have made boxing look even worse with not one, but two guys fighting like animals in front of millions of fans. He also said he already forgave Tyson for biting him. Now this was right after the fight. And I remember in hearing that, I was totally amazed at that level of poise and forgiveness, of which I'm still amazed at that today. Naturally, Tyson was suspended and fined $3 million plus legal fees. Now as history unfolded, both these guys had great boxing careers, although both went out on losses. Mike's by knockouts from Danny Stewart in 2004 
in Kevin McBride on June 11, 2005. Evander, a first-round knockout loss to Bellator MMA standout Vitor Belfort. And that was in the fall of 2021. As of now, both men have reconnected, became friends, and a book was also written about their ring experience called The Fight Bite. Now that was in 2013 by George Willis. They even did commercial comedy skits and ad campaigns together, teaming up in 2022 to promote edible cannabis sweets and gummies named of all things, Holy Ears. Now, if any saga in the sport epitomizes that saying, the old saying of boxing being the theater of the unexpected, well, this folks was certainly it. So that's my take on this one, folks. A look back at boxing history, June 28th, 1997. But don't forget, for elite boxing instruction, elite boxing analysis, and elite boxing philosophy, click that like and notification button and subscribe to NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And as always, I'll be seeing you the next main event.